We're getting into the heat of summer and now is a great time to look at our smaller trees and our home landscapes and areas and do some selective pruning to control the vegetative growth that we've got going on. And the key is to do very limited pruning using hand tools like a hand pruner. Whenever you're looking at starting to do some pruning, always have a purpose in mind. Because remember, trees aren't like people. They don't heal, they seal over. So the more that you can minimize the purposeful damage that you're doing by pruning, the better off the health and the vigor of your trees will be. So let's talk a little bit about the what, why, when, and how of pruning. Why do we even prune? That's the purposeful wounding of the plant for a specific purpose. And remember that there's no pruning that you can do that's gonna help with the health and vigor of the tree because you're removing the tree's ability to produce food by removing leaf material. So always try and minimize that. And remember, in any given year, take no more than one quarter of the branch structure of a tree. Why do we prune? Typically, we're pruning for a very specific purpose, such as improving the structure of the tree, removing co-dominant stems. But at this time of the year, I like to focus on three main types of pruning, removing dead branches, branches that might be rubbing, and potentially diseased branches. But other than that, uh, pruning should be very selective and very minimal at this time of the year. Because again, remember, you're removing the plant's ability to produce food. Other tips, how do you prune? Target those very small branches. The smaller the branches, typically the better. Uh, if you're getting a large chainsaw out at this time of the year, you're doing something more than just periodic pruning during midsummer. So very, very selective focus on hand pruners, maybe a small hand saw, uh, a pole pruner sometimes. I always try and remind homeowners, if your feet are leaving the ground and you're getting on a ladder, or you're starting to prune above your head, that's the time to consider calling a certified arborist in and getting their professional opinion because we don't want anybody hurt and you should definitely not be up on a ladder pruning on a tree. So as another reminder, people have a tendency to get out there and just start hacking away at their trees with no specific purpose. I remind folks that you really, with, especially with newly planted trees, don't do anything to those trees for at least three to five years after they've been established. That leaf material left on there is gonna grow uh, help to provide vigor and energy for the tree. Branches left lower on the stem will provide more strength, more taper, and uh, it's okay to eventually start to prune that tree up, but give that tree a, a chance to get established, and eventually you can identify those permanent branches that you wanna maintain, often at six to eight feet, and then start to develop a good scaffolding branching system that's symmetrical up through the canopy of the tree. So the final point I want to talk about today is focus on developing a strong terminal. Remove those co-dominants, multiple stems that might be in the canopy of your tree early on in the life of that tree when you can use a hand pruner. That will eliminate structural problems as that tree begins to mature. And as a reminder, you don't try and pull out a cavity or set a bone yourself. So why would you do large tree care yourself? Hire a certified arborist to do the work that's necessary to keep your trees healthy and safe. Perfect.